Hello friends, this is Kirsten here at the Edgerton Public Library. Welcome to another Reading Adventure Club. Today I'm going to show you what's inside our Reading Adventure Packet and show you some books that I hope you'll think about reading this week. So each week we've been putting out a packet. Uh, it has directions for some activities. Each week there's a writing prompt and a couple activities. And this week our activities include a sticker poster. Those are a lot of fun. We had one of these this summer, uh, you may remember, about unicorns. And then we also have a wooden dinosaur for you to decorate. So a couple dino activities. And I hope you're collecting your reading prompts, or excuse me, your writing prompts in a book that you can read. I love the title page um, with all those good words starting with the letters of the alphabet. Daring, devoted, dependable, diligent, determined this week. Okay. And our reading adventure pack has been focusing on a different letter of the alphabet each week. So there's our, our sign language uh, way to show the letter D. Okay. So this week might be a great week to read about dinosaurs, dogs, maybe a good week to eat a donut. Okay. Every week's a good week for a donut. Okay. So let's take a look at some other books. We have a lot of dinosaur books in our library. Some are in our picture book section, so just a story about dinosaurs. These are fun ones by the author Jane Yolen. Okay. And then in our nonfiction section, the Dewey Decimal Number 567.9, uh, there's two entire shelves filled with dinosaur books. So if you enjoy dinosaurs, that is the, the area or the shelves for you. Okay. We also have a lot of dog books. Again, there's some stories about dogs or informational books. I love these names. Cockapoo, Puggle, Chorky. They're fun to say, aren't they? So books about different breeds of dogs, books about owning a dog and taking care of a pet. And again, those are in our nonfiction or the informational section of our library. This week might be a good week to try an author whose last name starts with letter D. Sometimes we can just get ourselves to read new things by uh, setting a goal. You know, read an author who starts with letter D. Okay. So we have the Spiderwick Chronicles from Tony. And this is a great one if you're interested in fantasy books or maybe you want to try reading some fantasy. Mm -hmm. Hoofbeats. This is a historical fiction series about a girl and horses. So if you're a fan of horses, I guess I should mention the author, Catherine Dewey, or Kathleen Dewey, excuse me. Um, the Amber Brown series by Paula Danzinger is a great um, early chapter book series. We also have some of those in our easy reader section. Okay. Author, last name beginning with D, Danzinger. Roald Dahl is another author in our D section, and several of his books have been turned into movies. So maybe you want to read the book, like the BFG or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and then check out the DVD, watch the movie. I'm going to move over to another table. Everyone loves Pete the Cat, right? And we have many of those books in our Easy Reader section as well as our picture book section. And some of those you can sing along with. Uh, they make great read alouds, so fun to share with somebody. The Bailey School Adventure Kids. This series is found in our um, chapter book section, but it's a kind of early chapter book. I pulled a few of them that have a lot of D's in the titles. Dracula, dragons, okay. but we've got about 30 books in that series. So if you're looking for a new chapter book series, why don't you give that one a try, The Bailey School Kids. Okay. Kate DiCamillo has written lots of books. She has been noted as an ambassador for children's literature, being such an amazing author, writing for kids. The Mercy Watson series is in our, um, in our Easy Reader section. And then we've got quite a few chapter books by her. And again, several of them have been turned into movies because of Winn-Dixie, The Tale of Despero are a couple examples. And those make great read-alouds. So if you're looking for a book to share as a family, um, I would check hers out. 
All right, we're going to move into the middle here. Um, we have some books in our library that have come out as movies, but it's a, a retelling of the, or a reading of the book as a movie. So it's a little different than the movie being acted out. It's the book being read. And one of those that we have on DVD is called Dreamers. And another one is called Drum Dream Girl. So I pulled those out to share with you today because of all the D's in the title. <laughs> 